Hi everyone, it's Olivia and welcome to this channel where we talk about Rizzo Zine's art and all sorts of good stuff. So if you watched my Q&A machines and cleans video where I answer questions like what is the model of my machine and how do you go about buying a Rizzo graph and other questions like that, you probably know that my Rizzo graph is an MZ1090U unit, which is a machine that can take in two ink drums and print two colors in one pass. But I do have another machine here and that is this smaller unit right here which is the RZ1090U. And this machine is a one ink drum, one color unit. So it does one color in one pass. And I haven't really mentioned this smaller unit because I haven't actually used it that much. I've been almost exclusively just using the larger two color unit for all my work. And so I just decided to just go ahead and sell the smaller unit to someone else who might be able to get more use out of it. So since I'm only going to have the smaller unit for just a couple more days, I thought I would take this opportunity to show you the smaller unit and show you how it compares with the larger unit. Now the smaller RZ1090U unit is pretty much exactly the same as the MZ1090U from what I've seen of the specs. Like it also takes a larger ledger size paper and also prints at 600 DPI. The only difference is of course it's cheaper than the bigger unit and also it only takes one ink drum. So Actually, originally when I was starting Pin.Press, Press, I wanted to get the RZ1090U unit just because it was cheaper and was less scary for me to buy. So yeah, the person who is giving this machine a new home is also a fellow artist and I am so excited for her and so excited for all the wonderful prints that she's gonna be making with the machine. So in support of that, today I'm gonna be doing a secondary check on this machine, testing the drums and testing the printing and making sure everything is perfect, everything goes smoothly, it's printing properly and that it's good to go as soon as it arrives at her place. And another thing I wanna do is clean and declutter the studio a little bit. There's, there's a, a lot of stuff here and especially in this back area, there's just a, a lot of kind of stuff piled up and I really want to reduce and declutter all of this junk looking stuff. So yeah, that's another goal for today. <laughs> Okay, but first, as I mentioned earlier in this video, let's take a look at these two Rizos and compare and contrast them. All right, so now let's look at the RZ1090U unit and see how it's configured inside. So if I open up the printer, you'll see that there's only one slot for one ink drum. So it's all kind of like this cute little tiny configuration. So here is how the one ink drum fits in. So it looks like this. So you just kind of put the ink in there, slide it in. And then the master making unit is also just inside here. So if you press this button, you can slide out the master making unit. However, I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna accidentally like mess up the master making unit. So I'm just gonna leave it here. And then there's this cute little kind of like donut shape here and that's for, that's for I think storing like a cap. And then if I close this up and I show you the bottom part, this is actually just a storage area. So the printer itself is only from here up. All right, so I'm just gonna leave the door open so that you could see the configuration and we're gonna go over to the two color machine and I'm going to open the door and show you how this is configured so that you can sort of see how they're configured differently. And then for this, the master making unit is actually over here. So you press that button to release the master unit so it's all on this side. And if you're wondering where is the area where I could store a cute little cap like here, well, sorry, it's full of stuff, but it's up here and you can store two caps because it's a two color unit. And here we can also take a look at the storage area under the big riso and it's actually quite different than the smaller one because here you can actually store two ink cylinders. There are these sliding trays that you could use to place your Rizos in and then just slide
fly them in for storage. So I just went on the Rezo's internal test mode and printed dot test prints and I think it went well. The master clearly is working and the dots are all there so the ink cylinder is also working just fine. So I used a different test print mode for the brown ink cylinder and for that I used the cross with the dot. So the brown ink cylinder is also printing well. It just took a little bit longer than the black ink cylinder to activate, but it eventually got there. So yeah, the master making unit also printed everything completely, so that's really good. So next I'm going to do a test print by sending a sample file from Photoshop to this printer. So yeah, the irregularities that you saw earlier is pretty common. I think that's just the ink cylinder trying to ink the screen up. So in that case, you just have to run a bunch of copies until the screen is properly inked up and eventually you will get the prints looking like how they're supposed to. So I think that it came out well and that the printer is receiving the information correctly from the laptop and the master making unit is also working properly and I think that it's ready to go to its new home so I'm very excited about that. Alright so there's a lot to do and honestly I'm not even sure where to start. It's, it's a lot and it's a little bit overwhelming. So one of my goals is to clear this table and also I want to get rid of these two shelves. So I finished this area of the studio, so now I'm going to tackle these two shelves. So I guess I gotta take out everything from the shelves and then go from there. corner is all set so I'm just gonna make my way to the right like this and it looks really messy right now but I think when I'm done it's really gonna come together. Alright so I'm basically testing some ideas here. I'm wondering if maybe covering up these cubbies with just like a plain plank of wood would kind of be less distracting and would look neater. I really kind of like it, but this isn't the right size, so I think that I might have to saw it, except for I don't have a saw. So. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just. I think that's going to be for another day. <laughs> so I do have one more to do wish list for the day, and that is to go through this Ikea art cart and just kind of figure out what I want to keep or what I don't want to keep. I think this art cart has also seen better days. This thing has really like sunk down there so I think I gotta fix that. So yeah. Hi everyone, so it's been a couple days. I was actually so tired from hours and hours of decluttering last weekend that I just didn't even record an ending to the video. 
but that's okay because today is the day that the baby Rizzo is going to get picked up. So right now I'm going to be preparing a box of paper samples for my customer so that she can have all these fun papers to try out and yeah, it's gonna be cool. So actually one of the things that I really find quite appealing about Rizzo is the fact that you can use many kinds of colored paper. Like I find that a lot of print shops where you have to rely on laser prints give you very few options in terms of paper. Like it's mostly just white glossy paper. But with the Rizzo, because it is an ink-based system and you have to use these uncoated papers, there's actually a lot of uncoated colored paper options. So basically anything that you can print on an inkjet printer, you could probably use that for the Rizzo as well to a good effect. And especially for zines and other projects where as an artist, you really want to be able to play with different kinds of materials and experiment. I think that it's just wonderful to have the option of being able to use the paper's color as another way of expressing yourself. everyone so the Rizzo is gone so this is the space where that RZ1090U used to be and now it's just an empty space so I've got more space now yay so yeah I'm really enjoying the space that was created through this whole decluttering process and the selling of the Rizzo so yeah if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful please give it a like subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section below and I will see you in the next one 